Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Burke, administrator at Voice One San Francisco, leading voiceover school in San Francisco. And I'm joined today with Walt Gray IV. He's a voice actor as well as a video game director. He worked at Sony for eight years as a key set production assistant on video games such as God of War, Death Stranding, Marvel's Spider-Man, and The Last of Us franchise, to name a few. Uh, he'll be teaching a class with us next week for self-tapes on mocap. And um, thanks for joining me today, Walt. Thanks for having me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Before we get into talking about the class, I want to just ask you a couple questions. Can you explain what mocap is and what you enjoy about it? Mocap is short for motion capture. Um, there's some folks that prefer to go with the term performance capture. I think mm -hmm. both are valid. Um, and it's, uh, you know, performers uh, running around in those silly, tight looking scuba suits with uh, markers all over their bodies, sometimes now suits without markers, uh, to shoot uh, and capture their motion through computers on a soundstage. And um, if it's a big AAA production and they wanna get all their VO done at the same time, also with audio and sometimes HMCs, the head mounted cameras and capture mm -hmm. the face motion all at once. Naughty Dog's a great example of doing everything for the cinematics, especially all together. And that's, uh, that's motion capture in a nutshell is being in a suit on a stage and uh, doing whatever the animator or the director or both needs on any given shoot. I love it because it's uh, theater. It's, it's theater in the round. You get to engage your imagination the most as an actor other than in the booth. And uh, it's freeing and wonderful and too much fun. Awesome. Many of our students, since we're a voiceover school, uh, focus primarily on voice acting and have never done self tape auditions before. So uh, can you describe the basics of what that looks like for our audience? Well, yeah, for, for those that have just never uh, been asked to audition with the self tape or, or want to know more about how that process goes, it, it can be very simple and, and then uh, it can become very complex depending on what you need or what you want to do with your auditions. An on-camera audition is, is just exactly what it sounds like. The, the ones for mocap uh, should be no different usually than the ones for film and television. It's you putting yourself on film so that the casting director and the powers that be uh, can see what you do with the sides, with the lines that they give you. Um, not much different from a voiceover audition, except this time we have to see you, we have to see your face. They want to see what you look like. They want to see uh, physically how you move. They might ask for a full body shot. They might ask to see uh, a bit of movement to vault over something, depending on the game. If it's a big action game and you're going out for the lead. There are differences and we would cover that in the class and what there might be. But um, it's bare bones, it's a camera, it's the actor, and then it's whatever sides the client might have given you that you have hopefully memorized and are ready to uh, record and do as you would on the day. It could also become a little, a little scary at times, depending on how worried we are about how it looks at the end of it. <laughs> and that's what the class would touch on as well, is kind of easing everyone's uh, stress a little bit about the process. One of the pros of self-tapes is you get to do it as many times as you want. Nice. Since you were talking about it, without giving away the farm, uh, can you tell us what you're going to be covering in class? The farm left ages ago. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, we would be we would be analyzing sides. So everyone gets, uh, you know, sides for an audition. The purpose of our class, it would be a show, a television show, actually, that's already out. Um, so there's no worries about NDAs there. And I'm using a television show because A, the writing's good, but also um, it's it's grounded, it's simple. Uh, I, I'm not I'm not requiring anybody in the class to to get up and run around and do, you know, a movement audition. We'll certainly talk about it. But the main focus is going to be connecting with this medium of camera, understanding that the camera is present and then forgetting about it, <laughs> but knowing that you're playing to the camera while you're working with your reader, or uh, that that certain uh, moments that you might feel you wanna convey uh, might look a little, a little too big on camera, especially if you're used to theater training. Um, the, the, the faces you might make in the booth while you <laughs> make certain noises or certain characters, 
might look a little weird, might work depending on the character. Uh, we would focus on framing your scene. I'm mainly going to be focusing on technique and mm -hmm. what works for each uh, individual student. Another hope of the class is that each individual student is able to kind of share their trepidations and be like, hey, I've never done this before. Where do I start? Great. And some other people said, I've, I've uh, submitted a lot of on-camera stuff. I'm just not booking it. Should I do something differently? We'll talk about wardrobe, what you should wear, um, what you shouldn't wear, what's appropriate for the character, what's too much, <laughs> what's not enough. Um, that's going to depend on the individual actor or the student in this case. It's going to depend on the client. Everyone's different. And the overall idea is every audition, no matter if it's voiceover only, on camera, theater in person, or in a casting director's office for, for a, a television show or a film, every audition is an opportunity to play. And that is going to be a big part of, of the class. And hopefully the, the feeling with all the students is we get to play and Otherwise, what's the point if we're not having fun, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one last question. For voice actors these days, how important do you think knowing how to self-tape for mocap is for your career? I think it's just as important to me as being able to cold read. It's just another technique that I think every actor should have. You should get comfortable, like in voiceover, listening to yourself, listening mm -hmm. to your playback. You should be comfortable uh, looking at yourself and not go, oh, God, it's the new year. Maybe I should have a resolution to lose some of that holiday weight because that's not what we're focusing on. We're focusing on the work. Do the mm -hmm. lines make sense? Are you connecting to what you're saying? Is this a character that's believable? Um, and to find that groundedness and that believability, especially for a video game that's not based in reality or a fantasy game, because the more believable your read is, even if it might not be appropriate for the part or for the the game, the casting director can go, they're connected. I'm seeing the work. Also, they seem like a good person to just work with.